Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of 2020 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition. Eight box jumbo, pick your team number 16. There it is right there, full case. A very big thank you to all of these. There's no fillers or anything. Thanks everyone for just knocking this out. Um, just straight up, appreciate it. On the 22nd, pick your team, Sweet 16, Bowman Draft Baseball. Paul with that double last or triple last spot mojo. You got all three of those teams straight up at the very end to close this out. EA in the house as well. EA had a really nice hit parade football break. He's, he's still, I think he's still shocked about it. Hopefully we'll keep that momentum going here in this big old case here. I know this is a long break, so we may kind of stumble into other uh, other sports topics, but let's start off with a little bit of baseball here. Um, has there been any big baseball news before we stray into other other conversations? I feel like there hasn't really been. The stove has been kind of cold. I guess Phillies named Sam Fold as their general manager. Mets looking into signing a Japanese player, Suganu. Yu Darvish gaining trade interest. Howie Kendrick retires. Blue Jays Mets. This is all MLBTradeRumors.com. Blue Jays Mets seen as strongest suitors for George Springer. So the George Springer sweep, sweep stakes still happening. And uh, Anthony Descalfani signs with the Giants, I guess. Michael Waka for the Rays. So LeMayu still doesn't have a contract. So we'll see. I don't think that's I don't think that's a done deal, Spiro. I think Trevor Bauer has definitely been been uh, campaigning. Red Sox signed Steven Gonsalves to a minor league deal. Padre signed Nick Birdie, Nick Ramirez to minor league deals. Brewers claimed Tim Lopes or Lopez. Nationals open to moving Carter Keboom in trade talks. Mets avoid arbitration with Noah Syndergaard. So, some moves here and there. Yeah, I just saw that too. White Sox has signed Yoelki Cespedes. Yoenis' brother. So just little bits of news here and there. But Trevor Bauer is the big is the big grab. I mean, I I would love to see Trevor Bauer on my Dodgers. It'd be sort of an embarrassment of riches, but the Dodgers kind of low key do need some some more established. They've got some up and coming stars like Dustin May and and Julio Urias, but but uh, Kershaw's not getting any younger. All right, there's our first Torkelson, and it's a Chrome Torkelson for Townsend. Um, also, paper does not, as you read in the item description, paper doesn't ship except for these four players right here. Heston Kirkstad for Baltimore, Zach Veen for Colorado, Robert Hassel, San Diego, and obviously Spencer Torkelson paper will ship. Exactly. Kershaw Kershaw isn't getting any younger, and Trevor Bauer would be a nice would be a nice uh, spot there. Now I I have heard. Now I don't know if this year's free agency changes it, and you know with with not a lot of money being thrown around because post pandemic or during the pandemic. Paper Torgelson for Townsend. But Trevor Bauer has said in the past he doesn't mind taking like one year deals. So I could see the Dodgers getting creative and thinking and saying, hey, how about we give you kind of something wacky? You know, like how about we give you one year $40 million? 
right? It's a lot of money, you know, but it's a, uh, it's a, it's a one year deal. You know what I mean? Maybe even two, maybe there's an option or something like that. There's Torgelson again. So I wonder, and these, these are not numbered. But I want. I wonder if Trevor Bauer would entertain something like that instead of being locked into a longer term deal. So it'll be interesting to see to see how uh, he approaches that contract situation and what he ends up deciding to do. There's Garrett Crochet to 25, and we got a Ryan Murphy for the Giants. Purple Chrome to 250. That's for Ryan D. Gets the Ryan M. And what is there, three autos in Jumbo? Yeah, three autos per box on average. So these were the Torkelsons, and we'll keep track of the three autographs. So it's just first of three. There's Adam Seminaris to four ninety nine, and obviously all that Chrome ships. You think FSL thinks based on how Bauer was on and off the seat, on and off the field, he should be the face of baseball? I mean, I, I like Trevor Bauer, but I don't, I don't know if he's the right face for baseball. There's Dylan Dingler to 99. Green paper. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with you, Pat. I don't know. I, I mean, clown's a strong word, but, but I think... I think he is more interested in, and this is something that I don't blame him for. But he he wants to create his own media brand. He's not playing he's not playing the game of Major League Baseball and taking the responsibility of being the face of baseball. Right, that goes to the Rangers. Mark the set. You know, he wants his he wants his YouTube channel. He wants his this. I think he's just too independent of a dude. To kind of toe the company line for Major League Baseball. I don't think he'll ever be the face of Major League Baseball. Now, I, 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 I like him. I, I kind of like his his attitude, you know what I mean? But if I'm Major League Baseball, though, I don't think he's, he's going to be the face anytime soon. You know? But you got to play a certain... You got to play a certain game of politics, you know, to be the face of an organization. You got to be safe, basically. I mean, Trout's not controversial. There's your face of baseball. He's a great player. He's down to earth. Everyone loves him. He's an everyman. He doesn't rock the boat, you know. He's not, after a bad start, he's not throwing baseballs into center field. You know what I mean? Obviously an awesome player. One of the best we've seen. There, that's your face of baseball. Speaking of the Angels, there's uh, Adam Simoneris for Townsend. Excellent player, Trevor Bauer. Absolutely. You know, a lot of fun things that he tweets out and, and, and a lot of fun YouTube content that I watch. Absolutely. Face of baseball, maybe not. Also, FSL saying, do you think another reason why teams aren't signing players is the fact how teams handle the minor league talent? Yeah. 
I mean by that is a lot of players got called up and they didn't. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's why you have a farm system, right? I think I think it is. Oh, look at that! Wow, Spencer Torkelson autograph to four ninety nine. There you go, Townsend. Nice Torkelson auto. I think, like you, like you point out, a lot of a lot of baseball teams lost a lot of money, and uh, and I think that because of that. Because of that, you know, I think they are going to rely more on their minor league, you know, their minor league system to help cover spots in the case that they just won't be able to, you know, pay that much in free agency. I don't think that's the only reason, but it's part of it. And right, yeah, Pat, like Pat's saying, there's just... There's a loss of re loss of revenue too, so then they could easily make the excuse, "Hey, we're gonna go with their young guys instead." Uh, and as for Bryce Harper, Townsend, I like Bryce Harper. Oh, that's the third you've seen. I think that's the second I've pulled. I feel like the only people that, that complain about the quote-unquote antics of Bryce Harper and of uh, Tim Anderson and Fernando Tatis Jr., I feel like are just, I don't know, old, really, really old dudes <laughs> who don't like to have fun. Nah, you're just... Put your head down and run. The new Cleveland team name. I think it'll be Cleveland Baseball Club in 2021. <laughs> and then they'll figure it out later. You think Cleveland Tribe? I feel like that's just a little too close to... To the to the Native American reference, right? I think they may just abandon any sort of monetization of Native American and Native American tribes. I feel like spiders is an interesting one, just because that they they were the spiders at one point, or there was a team in Cleveland called the Spiders. There's Clayton Beater to 150 and Dane Acker to 499 for Joe M and the A's. So I think they might avoid that. No, I don't think offensive is really the reason why they would avoid tribe. I think they they just want to avoid any. I mean, if you're moving away from Indians, I think you're just moving away from that entire, or you should move away from the entire thing. Otherwise, just stick with Indians. You know what I mean? You know, yeah, it's problem adjacent, exactly. I think I think it's just why you even bother, you know. There's Bobby Miller gold paper for the Dodgers. So those two Dodgers parallels going to Paul Townsend. So I think you may as well, at, at that point, I think you may as well just come up with a completely new name. I mean, personally, I like sort of, maybe maybe, I don't know, maybe there's, you have to dig up maybe some old Cleveland name, you know, that used to be there and go with that. Yeah, I've seen, I saw that too. Cleveland Buckeyes was, I think, an old name of the Cleveland baseball team. But, I mean, that's so, that's so, I feel like that's so attached to Ohio State. They must have all sorts of trademarks on, on Buckeyes as a, in reference to a sporting team, right? So there may be some legal issues there. I mean, what what's like a what is is there like a cool 
regional animal that's that's there, though that's always easy. Spiders are just far too terrifying, Pat. I know Pat mentioned spiders, so that's scary. No way I'm wearing a buying a spider. Right? If there was like a hoodie with a spider on it, I mean, in the middle of the dark, that might look like a two foot spider, and no thanks. There's Torkelson right there. I wonder if there's like a regional animal there that would. That they could use. And oh, nice Robert Hassel. He's one of the papers that we're saving. Is there a, it almost looks like an extra thick card right here, but. Nice Robert Hassel for Alex and the Friars. Nice. He kind of looks like he was signing these in a car. Maybe on an airplane. There was turbulence. All right, so that's our two of three autographs there. Hey, well, scared money don't make money, Towns, and I'm glad you got that rewarded with that Torkelson. It's just marinating there. There's Nick Lofton paper to four ninety nine. That'll be for the Royals, Randy Ramos. Yeah, sky blue with the royal blue. I do like. I do like when the parallels match the uh, the color of the parallels match the team colors. It always looks so sharp. And we've got Mitchell Parker Green to 99. Goes to Evan and the Nats. Yeah, maybe something to do with music. Mike Tower saying Cleveland Rockers. I mean that 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 might be too much rocking chair, but I like where you're where you're going. You think the Dodgers should change their name? I think there's really no point for the Dodgers to change their names. I think with that much history, I doubt that that's going to change anytime soon. Angels would be a good candidate, though, if they wanted to change their name. I could see that happening before. And even then, I don't think the Angels have changed their name, too. Angels have been around, been Angels since, what, the 50s, 60s? There's Levi Prater to 99. 47 out of Hassel paper and oh, that was our three autographs, right? One, two, three. Yeah, we got him. Got him.
Yeah, I think Braves would be a, another good candidate to change change names. Ryan, you're already asking for autograph. We're not even halfway through the break yet, friend. Ryan Lynn's like, come on, Pete. Where are you? No, you're not even... Only, th what, three boxes? Three boxes in? Isn't it best when you hit the, an early one, though? I think it's more exciting if the very last autograph is like the monster that you were looking for. I wish that Torkelson was last. Yeah, last auto mojo. Like you're sitting here just tearing your hair out. And then bam, there's your hit. And maybe even some color, too. I feel like you shouldn't really even get worried until maybe one of these boxes right here. All right. Third box of eight. Good luck, everyone. There's a Heston right here. Ryan Lynn's gonna go with double Pete Mojo, early Pete and last and late Pete. All the Pete's. There's Green, Reese Hines to 99. And look at this, a f franchise futures dual autograph. And, that, and they're both for the Angels. Reed Detmers and David Calabrese. And the Angels were picked up late. They were one of the last teams taken by Paul Townsend. They were just sitting there. Nobody wanted them. I think even Ryan Lind was like, hey, no one likes the Los Angeles teams? Angels or Dodgers? Who is it? David Calabrese and who? Reed Detmers, duel? Duel, yeah. And redemption, but there you go. No one wanted him. And all those Zach Veens, of course, go to Oliver Smith. This is the, uh, that's the Pete that Ryan Lind is looking for. Here, I'll save one of these Pete's for you just in case. And Tekoa Roby, uh, blue paper to 150 for the Rangers. That'll be from Mark Bissett. There you go, Ryan. Paper, a paper Pete. We'll, we'll hedge a little bit. It's Christmas, you know? That's the, that's the one, per, one per break. One per break, I'll pull a paper for somebody. <laughs> That's already taken, folks. Sorry. Actually, I need all of these chromes here. I should probably sleeve that up, too. I'm mixing my papers with chromes. I don't want that to happen. See, Torkelson is numero uno, the number one pick. So we'll top load him as well right away. Townsend with the Tigers. He's having a good break. He got the Torkelson auto earlier for the Tigers. And then he got the Angels dual auto redemption. 
pretty, pretty nice. Guess what? He still has another big team. He still has the Orioles. So there could be some Heston opportunities in there as well. And there's Hunter Barnhart. 233 out of 499 refractor autograph for Tampa Bay. That's going to go to Ryan Lind and the Rays. There's Ulrich Soler to four ninety nine. Twins paper going to Joe, Joe M. And Torkelson paper. So the, that's two autographs. So we're looking for one more auto before we move on to the next box. Maybe some nice parallels too. Is the hope. And we got a Sparkle Case Williams, uh, which is not numbered. I think the autos are numbered, right? But obviously that will ship. Ryan saying, it wasn't a break the other night. Someone offered 450 for the Tigers prior to a filler. <laughs> the breaker countered with 475, and the guy said no, and then uh, hit a super fractor. Or hit a, hit a super fractor? 20 and 20 of torque? Wait. I don't understand. Oh, uh, you mean... You're not talking a super fractor, right? Or a super fractor of the 2020... The insert super fire. Okay, okay, I was gonna say, gotcha. Well, the point of the story is, folks, if you're about to spend four hundred and fifty dollars on a team, <laughs> like pay the extra twenty five. Like at at that point, what's the difference? That's just being cheap. <laughs> so that person has no one to blame, but him or herself. All right, there's Spencer Strider to 250, 95 out of 250. That's our final autograph of this box. That goes to Townsend and the Braves, another team that was just sitting there and not picked up. Wait, hang on, FSL. That's a lot of text I have to read. I have to pay attention to paper here. Chrome Torkelson. All right, what's happening? You, you got an even better team to watch than the Dodgers this season. That's my school's college baseball team. We've got a great squad. Of you, huh? Have seven D1 transfers. You do some broadcasting for that team. I don't know. I'd rather watch the Dodgers. This was. It, this would be the. Torkelson version is what uh, is what Ryan saw, but yeah, I mean, it just kind of blows my mind. It's like I don't know. I see, and I don't even remember any names. I, I won't name any names. I wouldn't, but I don't even remember any names to be honest with you. But there are some people that are that are just <laughs> that will see like a. So we'll get crazy emails, right? We'll. It'll be like a hundred dollar team or something like that, and which is not nothing, but still, it's a hundred dollar team. The per and they'll be like, "Hey, if you take ten percent off, like I'll buy it." And I'm just like, "Really? Ten dollars?"
and Nick Jaspi, who prices all of this sort of stuff, he's pretty good at making sure that we're at market, if not under. You know what I mean? So we're 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 at market. Now, if we were if we were way off market, then yeah, I mean, I would do that, but. I don't know. Everyone wants to think they got a deal, but ten dollars though. I guess. I guess. I guess that ten is that important. But I feel like. I feel like what we provide in. In quality service and a and a and a good customer experience, a good fan experience. I think we do okay. But the the. I mean that's fine, but the, the 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 story that Ryan was talking about that just kind of kind of blows me away. Oh, he claimed he paid for well, unless I see the receipts. I don't know if I could believe that, right? Right? Why would it, why would any I for us we we would probably like because of Torkelson, there is no reason to lower the price of the Tigers. Let's just put it straight that way. You know, so unless that person who was selling the Tigers four fifteen just completely mispriced it. You know, there should be no reason why, you know, I would just, I would just stand pat and stick with my price instead of, instead of like moving on that price. I would, I would lower the price of other teams first before I'd lower the price of the Tigers, to be honest with you. I don't know. I feel like too many, too many breakers, especially the people who are just starting out are, are kind of desperate to move teams. So they, they undercut themselves, which is. Which is fine if you need the cash flow, but I think it's worth more if I think it's worth more if uh, it's better long term if you kind of stick to your guns on on pricing. There's Isaiah Green to two fifty. Even in the early days when we were moving, like maybe this is like five six years ago, where we were only moving, you know, we were probably only going on air three or four times a week, and probably only moving a few breaks a night at that. But we would always be pretty confident with our prices and say, "Yeah, this is it. We're not, we're not moving off the number." You know what I mean? Otherwise, then you kind of, if there's always a sale at your retail store, then the sales don't become special anymore. But I realize that every. Breaker at different positions gonna are at different spots, but in general, stick to your pricing, folks. Uh, there's Hunter Barnhart, Sparkle, and Gage Workman. Maybe Spencer's future teammate. One sixty one out of two fifty. Exactly, Ryan. Yeah. Once you give a deal to one, if you if you give a mouse a cookie, we've all read this book, right? If you give a mouse a cookie, he's wanna he's gonna want a glass of milk. So on and so forth, <laughs> you know, and then, and then it just becomes, oh, but you gave a discount to that person. How come you're not going to give one to me? Then people get salty about that. For us, we're, we're just like, you know what? We want to treat everyone as, we want to just try to treat everyone as, as equal as possible. Whether you're buying one spot or 200 spots, whether it's $20 or $2,000, you know, we just, we, hey, it's like, hey, you're buying. And we appreciate that. You like those pad fillers, Pat? Yeah, the, where, where it's basically a pack break, but we're giving away spots. I like that too. For the longest time, for years, for years, we avoided doing fillers. People would always ask, hey, just do a filler for this. And we're like, eh, no, we'll just, just wait until someone buys it. Someone will find the, see the value of it and just eventually buy it. As we got, as we grew bigger, we realized that there was an importance of, of having a filler or two to knock something out. There's Ben Hernandez for the Royals. That'll be for Randy Ramos. And so we started doing it, but we wanted to do it in a better way. Because most people will do fillers and it'll be like, oh, it'll be team on top gets it. It'll be a 10 spot filler. Team on top gets it. Nine other people get nothing. 
which which we thought was really weird and just kind of I don't know not not a good business practice and then then it's just too uncomfortably close to just gambling and it takes away from the spirit of so like the compromise that's that we sort of came up with years ago was hey let's do a pack of like Bowman draft or something and then we'll give away we'll give away uh, teams or spots within that pack but you still have a shot at like an autograph could still be in there. We've pulled like silver Zions out of filler packs. You know what I mean? We did recently. We did last week. So there's at least the idea of oh, I can I can still chase something if I'm if I'm lucky. You know, even though it's out of just a small little pack or a small box. So that way you're still involved in a break itself. You know. And that helps. And and people like. The people who got like the silver Lucas or out of filler packs or silver Zions out of silver packs that we've done, all of them are like, yeah, you know what? We like that. I knew, and they didn't win spots. I, I think the person who got the silver Zion last week didn't win a spot, but he was so happy because he was he was just like he was just like uh, there's 21 out of 25 Nick York for the Red Sox. There you go, EA. That's you. We're so happy, but it was like, hey, thanks for at least giving me a shot in something. Because listen, you can do the math. There's there's not very many people hitting in any given break, right? There's only only so many hits in each break. So having a maybe a filler break is just kind of a less chance for you to lose, I guess. I mean, most most people are are not scoring huge in breaks. Anyway, why give? Why give people another chance to feel down by just doing that? That's what we think. Yeah, number blocks we like too. What's up, Joe P? What's going on, buddy? Buddy? Oh, look at that! Wow, another Spencer Torkelson. This time a class of 2020 Torkelson on card autograph, 176 out of 250 for Townsend and the Tigers. He picked them up straight up. What's going on, my Lakers? Well, they did a big ring ceremony and pretty much rubbed it in the faces of the Clippers. I don't think they like that. I've heard that this happens frequently. Teams that have the ring ceremony, their ring ceremony night is not as, uh, they don't play as well, at least in the first half. And the, the Clippers and Lakers played each other for like two or three preseason games, and Lakers beat them all three times. I don't think they like that either. <laughs> so I think they definitely came out strong. Although the line was pretty close for this game too. There's Marco Rea at a 499. I'm, I'm, I would assume the Lakers would come back pretty close in the second half once they get into halftime and then Frank Vogel is like, hey, wake up. And more Spencer Torkelson? A variation. Woo! So he usually looks like this. That's a variation. What a break for the Tigers. Rex, what's going on? Taylor Horton Tucker. Put some respect on his name. All right, we are halfway through the break. We got about another 40 minutes to go. There you go. Here comes the comeback. Well, if that I I I told you if that uh 
If that hit parade sells out, I'll do it. Today was supposed to be a vacation day for me. I wasn't, I wasn't even supposed to be in. And it turned out my hands were hot. How much would a printing plate of Torkelson go for, like without an auto? I don't know. I love printing plates, but I don't think they sell as well as, as you would think they would. I love it, though. Give it to THT. Oh. Is that legal defense or something like that? Come on. All right. Next box. All those Robert Hassels, of course, will go to uh, Alex and the Padres. He got an autograph of him earlier, too. Elliot Ramos to 150 for the Giants. That'll be for Ryan D. And wow, 35 out of 75 black parallel Robert Hassel for Alex and the Friars. Very nice. Adam, what's going on? Joe, about two weeks ago, I pulled you a Jason Tatum Noir RPA to 99. I think I have vague memories of that. That it had expired. Great news, you received the car in the mail. Thanks, Panini. See, I told you they were pretty good about expired redemptions. There you go. Good news, Adam. I'm glad, I'm glad you followed up and did not give up on it. I appreciate that. Wait, I'm surprised they... Wait, you got it back in a couple weeks? I'm, I'm surprised. I'm more surprised about it. I'm not surprised that they took care of you or even found the card. I'm more surprised at how quickly they turned that around. Like two weeks, that's fast. I mean, I guess it was sitting in like a in a storage area in a file cabinet somewhere, but there's Blue Wave for the fish to 150. That's Kyle Nicholas uh, going to Ryan Lynn and the fish. No worries, Jack. Thanks for getting in. There's Alex Santos purple paper. 
for the Astros. Well, I guess it's Jason Tatum, Adam. So yeah, Adam's like, I, two weeks ago I emailed the customer service rep, and that must have come back pretty quick. I guess they're not effing around with, with Jason Tatum's, right? RPAs? Especially with the hoop season starting up. All right, well, your, your other team seem to be getting some things here and there. We need to find that Pete for you, for the Mets. There's Zach Veen. Ed Howard to 99. Green for the Cubs. Matt, Matthew Akins with that one. Hessen Kirkstad for Townsend. Now Rex, speaking of Torkelson, though, Rex was saying earlier that that he saw on Facebook that some Torkelson colors were what did he say off center? Or the lines were off on it somehow. There's Logan Hoffman. As for Nick Coba and the Buckos, I don't know if I've now we have not pulled too many. I don't know. I haven't pulled enough color Torkelson to really know off the top of my head if that's true or not. Both those are isolated incidents. I mean, with the zillions of cards they, they print traditionally for draft, there's the 499 Jack Blomgren. I'm surprised there aren't more issues. The number stamps on the paper looks kind of weird on some some cards. I think some people have noticed that. I don't know what what's anyone have any idea what the significance of 71 is that's what the sparkle or speckle autograph sparkle speckle they used to call it speckle I think they're number to 71 I don't know sometimes they those numbers have significance sometimes I think I think it's just arbitrary maybe it was what sparkles were numbered back in the day Alex, that hoops break is going to happen tomorrow, buddy. Sorry, we're, we're booked for the... Unless you're waiting for contenders. I think everyone saw the schedule, right? Yeah, Jack, we... For breaks that take over, like, 40 minutes or so, we always do a... We always do a recap. Maybe around two o'clock Pacific. I think we have two uh, 
I think we have two obsidian breaks that filled up, random team breaks that filled up, which will be our first breaks of the day tomorrow. If you're asking about the, the hoops break, Contenders Optic is on the schedule. Hoops will be tomorrow. I reserve the right to start early depending on how, how early I go home tonight. And Sean might go on early depending on how late he goes tonight. So it could be earlier. There's Sammy Infante for the Nats. Evan with the Nats. Wait, was that our second autograph or I've lost track? Or was this our first auto? Is that our first auto of this box? And there's another fish autograph, Kyle Nicholas, Nicol Nicholas, 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 100 out of 250. I don't know, until he makes the bigs, maybe he's just meat. Ryan Lind with 100 out of 250. I'll learn your name if he, gets, if he makes it to the bigs. He should, second round pick. Did he go to college or is he out of high school? No, he went to college, so we'll see him in a couple years, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Ryan's like, I guess I'm starting a, a, a Kyle Nicholas rainbow. Well, the good news, the good news is is yeah, you sometimes you're forced to PC people just due to chance. Now you're like the biggest fan of this guy. Now you're gonna pay attention to him. Now you're gonna be like, when's he being called up? How's he doing in the minors? I've got a shoebox full of this guy. But sometimes it's those guys that end up being big names. That's, that's the beauty of, of Bowman Draft. There's Landon Knack, blue paper for my Dodgers to 150. That's the beauty of it because you don't know. I mean, the top guys could be busts. The, the, the non-top guys could be superstars. And years later, these boxes are probably going to be triple the price because of, of some random dude. Like that's, that could easily happen. 
There's Cody Hosey to 250. That's the uh, that's the beauty of, of sets like this. And everyone's gonna be like, oh, where where's that Kyle Nicholas paper? You know? And Ryan Lynn will remember, oh, three years ago, Joe pulled one of those papers for me out of a group break. And now it graded out a PSA 10, and now that's gonna sell for a million dollars. See? Could happen. And yeah, and Ryan Lind was saying he's a Mets fan, so he, they're, they're in division. So you'll probably be keeping track of him anyway. <laughs> Rex had to drive to Fort Wayne to look for Christmas presents, or for a couple presents. It's a 45 minute drive, hadn't been there for, the mall now has four sports stores? Are you talking about sports card stores? Ooh, what's this? So that's our third autograph right there. Oh, there you go. Here come the Lakers. 53-50 now. Sammy Infante to 250. One had sports cards, but others are sports related. Gotcha. Do you take a look at the sports cards? Gary, anything cool? Fort Wayne used to have the fourth largest mall in America. Don't know if it still is. Yeah, what, what's, what's mall sizes these days? Congrats. You are due to receive a Chrome draft pick autograph refractor parallel of. Everyone's saying it's going to be Austin Hendrick. It is Austin Hendrick, a notorious non-signer. Oh, I was about to mark this, but it says Cincinnati Reds already. Panini needs to follow suit here, start putting team names on the redemptions. That'll help, especially if we're breaking older product. So that's our third autograph here. Two more boxes to go. One store had a racing M&M's jacket. That must be uh, Kyle Bush. Kurt Bush? Kyle Bush. Kyle? I think Kyle drives the, the M&M's car. That's a great jacket. It's a sweet jacket, if you will. All right, two more boxes to go. All right, yeah, now now it's a good, good time to get, get nervous about the card that you're chasing, Ryan. But we do have six autos left. Not a lot of cards, but you did get a pack of 2020 Absolute. Nice. Nothing big, though, but still fun. Was it, what, was it busy at the store? Were there people there? How are the people behind the counter? Who, who had the M&M's car before Kyle Busch? Is it Elliot Sadler, maybe? Any NASCAR fans out there? 
All right. Was the pack eight? I, you know what? I don't know what we, what we charge for packs here. That sounds about right, though. About 20 bucks or so. I don't know. I, I, I don't pay attention to the retail set. I should. I don't, though. There's Austin right here. Sign your cards, bro. Where is he? Sign your cards, dude. Oh, they don't sign cards in Oakdale, Pennsylvania? Come on. There's uh, there's Bailey Horn to 250, purple paper. Yeah, the Bowman draft breaks are pretty fun. It's it's a little on the longer side. We're already at we're over an hour right now. It's a little on the longer side. And it's a little draining, especially during like new release day to do not ooh, go some gold. Just knock out a bunch of these, but it is fun. I like doing this every once in a while. One seventy seven out of two fifty. JJ Goss, purple chrome reveals a Joe Boyle. Eight out of fifty for the Red Legs. Karen with the Reds. There you go, Karen. You get the gold Joe Joey B. Not Joe Burrow, but Joe Boyle. That's what he's all about there. First auto of the box. J.J. Goss, go, Purple Chrome goes to the Rays. That'll be for Ryan Lynn. Yeah, we've not seen too much in the way of, of uh, Ed Howard. Rex. Maybe a couple Chrome cards here and there, but that's about it. No ink, no color. And there's another red that signs his cards. It's Jackson Miller. Austin Hendricks needs to take a cue from his future teammates right here. It's another one for Karen and the reds. Two reds in the box. It's a little bit of a higher, higher draft pick there. All those uh, Hessen Kirkstads go to uh, Townsend. Are you able to pre-order a box of best? Uh, I don't know. Check this. Check the other site. I think probably not. There's Nick Bitsko to twenty-five orange paper. But I think there'll be plenty of personal boxes tomorrow, Tyler. I don't think you're gonna miss out. Jackson Miller blew to 150. Yeah, oranges always look really sharp. Little color match, peak color match would be nice at this point. 
I feel like even a non-auto at this point. I still have one, four left. I don't think we've seen too much Pete Chrome yet, right? It's a couple paper, but most of those aren't going to ship. And we've got a Zach Veen class of 2020 autograph. That's two in the case. One is Zach Veen. The other one was Spencer Torkelson. 191 out of 250. Rockies. That is Oliver Smith with the Rocks. Apologies to the Pirates. I think it's fine, though. Two, 417 out of uh, 499 blue paper. Uh, that'll be for Nick Koba and the Pirates. here at the end no other paper we have to pull no all right final box coming up we'll do a recap at the end uh no box hoppers are in jumbo too Okay, next final box. Good luck. Final three autographs. Good luck. There will be a recap. or just psyching myself out. Final three boxes of Pick Your Team 16 Jumbo Edition. We've got Jeff Criswell to 499. Joe M with the A's. Actually, AZ saying, I think Carlos is saying. 
box hoppers are actually only in jumbo. Yeah, I think of all, we've done 16 cases, right? This is our 16th case on our final box. I've pulled, and I haven't done all 16 jumbo breaks, but I've personally pulled only, I've done maybe 10 cases, maybe a little bit less than that, 10 cases on my own. Maybe three, two or three box toppers that I remember off the top of my head. Maybe three, one of which was autographed. I think the autographs are even more rare than the box toppers themselves. Sean Jaspi actually pulled one out of a personal box today. There's uh, Gilberto Jimenez, 250. And actually, I actually think he randomized it to everyone who bought packs in that personal box on Instagram Live. Just kept track of everyone's names and randomized, and someone got the box hopper, but not autographed. We've seen some of these autographed too, those diamond cards. Torkelson and paper. And we got our second. There's been a lot of double autographs. That's our second Robert Hassel auto. This this one I feel like he did not sign in inside an airplane. That's for Nick Cobe. Uh, check that. That's for Alex Balasacos and the Padres. Johnny O, what's going on? Happy Christmas. Wait, is there a third autograph that we've hit of Robert Hassel? I, we'll find out in that recap. Maybe I just blanked on that. That's Alika Williams to four ninety nine for the Rays, Ryan Lind. Heston Kirkstad for Paul and the Orioles. Oh, right, right, right. There, You're right, Jack. There was the uh, the black parallel. This has been a pretty nice case, then, if you think about it. All right, last half. Good luck. Let's see if I was right about that gold or if I was just seeing things. There's red and fat to 250. Purple paper for Joe and the uh, Diamondbacks. There's a chrome Kirkstad. There's a uh, sub two autos ago in that stack too. There's a Chrome Torkelson. Another Chrome Torkelson.
it is gold, but not autographed. And the gold is going to be 35 out of 50. Connor Phillips for the Mariners. Corey Cope with the M's. Autograph right behind that. He's a second round pick. Autograph right behind that is Alec Burleson. 006 out of 250. Purple Chrome autograph going to EA and the Cardinals. And we should have, by my count, one more autograph left. There's a second round pick. the final autograph it is it's case williams 191 out of 499 for the rockies oliver smith with all of those zach veens and finally this case williams autograph all right there you have it ladies and gentlemen thank you very much that was our final autograph we got a little more paper here there's a heston paper to close things out and a recap coming up in just a second just the uh ones i've top loaded So let's go from the last box to the first box. You have the Case Williams, Burleson, a lot of Torkelsons. There's one Hassel. There's a Zach Veen. There's Austin Hendricks. There it is. There's their second. There's a Torkelson. There's the dual autograph. There's your other Robert Hassel. There's a there's a second Torkelson autograph. And then there is a variation back there. Where did the variation go? Did I highlight that variation? There's a variation. There he is with the, with his first baseman's mitt right there. So there you go, boys and girls. What a break. Zach Veen, great player for the Rockies. We got the two, uh, well, we got the three Robert Hassels right here. The base Robert Hassel, the second base Robert Hassel. You can see this autograph looks like he didn't sign it in a car or on an airplane when there was turbulence. This autograph's much better, too, to 75 right there. And of course, your Torkelson's refractor autograph to 499. And the class of 2020 autograph to 250. Pretty excellent stuff. And then plus tons of paper parallels. And then the papers for the, the for these four players right here so a lot of excellent stuff thanks for breaking thanks for watching i'm joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com i'll see you next time for the next break Bye bye